heading into this Labor Day holiday weekend, a former San Diegan directs Marvel's newest superhero film, a modern musical twist on a classic fairy tale, and a gender swap on a 90s makeover movie. So there's plenty to watch this weekend. And of course, we're going to turn now to Kelly Gillespie with those interviews. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning, Netta. I am so excited for audiences to see Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Now, this is Marvel's first Asian American superhero and it's directed by Dustin Daniel Creighton, who I just happened to go to school with in San Diego at Point Loma. So I'm so proud of him. And I had to talk with my old friend about this incredible father-son story wrapped in martial arts. And then as you mentioned, singer Camilla Cabello makes her movie debut as Cinderella and she's all that is now he's all that a starring social media mogul, Addison Ray. You are a product of all who came before you. Shang-Chi being the first Asian American superhero, and it was personal to you. I mean, so much so that, that you were willing to take on a Marvel film. I, I honestly wasn't ex expecting to do a big movie like this until they made the announcement that they were looking for a director for this particular character. and. I had never had a superhero to look up to when I was a kid and to be able to be involved with creating a character that I think would be uh, worthy of my sons one day um, experiencing and looking up to was, was very exciting. It felt like the development of the characters was just on another level. It was fantastic. And I loved that we saw their, you know, inner struggles as they're trying to, to, to wrestle with identity and what that means, which is so relatable. I, I really do relate to Shang-Chi and his journey. Um, he starts out as a, a man who is a bit lost and doesn't know his place in the world. Um, and this, at its core, really is a, a story about a, a family who is broken up by pain. And this is the story of them learning how to take steps back to together again. Um, and, and in the process, uh, I think, of, of, of reflecting back on what he has gone through, good, bad, um, the joy, the pain, that's what allows Shang-Chi to finally step into his superpower. I pick you to be my princess. What about my work? I don't want a life stuck waving from a royal box any more than a life confined to a basement. This is your movie debut, but of course no stranger to performing in, in the musical background. So what was it like for you to get to become Cinderella? I mean, it's such a huge honor and such an amazing opportunity. I mean... Anytime I like my friends and I talk about it, they're like, you're freaking Cinderella like that. And so it's so cool to be part of uh, an iteration that is just like this modern, more progressive feminist version of it. And so I'm just really proud to to be in this movie. I love it. I'm a fan. Make sure your nuptials are done properly. We shall hold a ball. You play the king and we get to see you singing. Talk to me about what it meant to be part of a fresh way to tell this, this fairy tale. I didn't have a song in the original script. Uh, so I said to Kay, I said, the king has to sing. Come on now. You know, you've seen and heard me in Mamma Mia. You know what you're going to get. So she created this delightful scene where I come up as a knight in shining armor and I woo her with my singing voice. Makeovers are my thing. When I first met him, he was 120 pounds of bad hair. What was it like to, to be able to enter kind of back into this world? This time around, you're the voice of wisdom. I, I appreciated that they thought I would be believable as someone who knows things and has good ideas. Guys, San Diego, listen up. Tell them about me. Mostly, and I mean mostly, the headline here is that Matthew Lillard is in the film. No big deal. And he's going to be maybe dancing I'm in, it. in the film. I'm in it, San and Diego. And if that's not reason enough to go see it, I'm in it. I just don't know what is. I love a good makeover, especially when we see a physical transformation along with an inner one, too. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, seeing that that physical transformation is only so much. And I think Paget kind of realizes that that's not the important thing that, you know, happens. And, and she realizes that it's really just about who you are on the inside and not having to be perfect or put out this perfect person persona. And, um, and that's a really great lesson I think, you know, everyone in this day and age can look at and learn from. 
Well, that sure looks like a great fall kickoff to all these movies to watch. And Kelly, I love that local connection to Shang-Chi. I mean, you went to college with the director. I mean, how amazing is that? I love it when things like this happen and the film is just absolutely beautiful. It's funny and emotional and full of action. So I just can't speak highly enough what Destin and his team have done. So simply put, it's a must see. Must add it to the list then, Kelly. Thank you very much for your insight. So good to see you. You too.